Good morning, folks. Today we're doing things a bit differently. We're just focused on the sun and space weather, and we've got more big solar flares, a solar storm alert issued for the planet, and you guys are going to learn about the magnetic pole flip on our star as well. But starting with the last 24 hours on the sun, we find eruptive activity and solar flaring are continuing. Yesterday we showed the X-class solar flare and the eruption of plasma. We took several more flares from the sun, including another X-class event this morning and what appears to be even more eruptive CMEs. The flare flashing was once again confined to the active regions with complexity that we've been eyeing for several days now, certainly an uptick in the X-ray production. But the endless spirals are now updating too, and the interesting one to see this morning is actually NOAA's. They think both the X-class flare and a subsequent release are both heading for the Earth. They forecast a double impact late tomorrow and into the first day of the new year. Their forecast includes a warning for level 3 geomagnetic storm conditions. Now, to be clear, while that is possible, I think it may be an overestimation. We maybe have a second impact coming with the first one, but both it and the main shock are very faint, which means it's hard to see them delivering such a major impact, even with Earth's magnetic field weakening in the ongoing pole shift. I guess we'll see as we also keep watching the sunspots, no real reason to imagine they're done flaring just yet, certainly still have the potential. Now, lastly, on the science front today, we see two large dark coronal hole patches incoming. Those are the reversing fields of the sun making those features. The coronal holes crossing the equator is part of the 11-year cycle of magnetic flipping and sunspot activity on the sun. And you can see the red locked up north, but the green is still in the reversal process. This is what causes hemispheric asymmetry in sunspot production, why the north and south don't go active at the same time. Now, taking a look at the last sunspot minimum that's what stable minimum setup looks like with the green north and red south you can see where we are now the red has fully reversed and is on the north green still going heading for the south sunspot maximum not quite done just yet and yes after the cmes we're tracking this week by this weekend the concern will be the coronal hole streams Folks, don't forget we have big events coming at Observer Ranch in the new year. More to be announced shortly. Find a time and come out and see us. ObserverRanch.com Also, the monthly special for subscribers of the Observer Review e-magazine is coming on January 1st. If you don't have it yet, sign up before then and you're going to get the entire 2024 catalog. Hundreds of pages of Observer-tailored science. Sign up at the link below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.